Sink with him. Sink with him. Um, I was having contractions five minutes apart. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dad? So he checks. And he's like, okay, you're 10 centimeters. We're ready to push the baby. Who was really wrong? I was drowning in pain, holding my breath for so long. My mind been going insane. The drugs that I'm taking ain't strong. I hope that you cry whenever you hear in the song. And I hope that you bleed out to death. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's official. The baby is here. And um, in today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about what the hell happened, how it happened. Um, and I'm gonna be doing my makeup for you guys. Um, just because I am into makeup, if you guys haven't noticed. I'm not a pro, but I know a little something. Um, so yeah, get your snacks, let's settle down, and let's see how this big boy came into the world because it's very exciting and it happened really fast. Let's just say that, and it's what I wanted. You know, who wants to, to be in labor for 30 hours? Not I. <laughs> so I'm very excited because it did happen very fast. Um, so that's great, and he's healthy, and you know, thank God everything went well. So stay tuned and Let's roll on to the next clip. Sting. Ouch. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Hi, guys. So it's officially the next day, the 19th. And all last night, I kept going to the bathroom and, um, that was really annoying because I literally kept going every hour. So that wasn't fun. <laughs> But yeah, I was having like really tough, constant cramping and I'm still having it. Um, I've literally been laying down all day. It's one in almost two in the afternoon and I've just been laying down because I feel really like disgusting. Like I feel like I'm on my period times five, like these cramps are really bad. Um, and I've had some contractions. I only had two in the morning, um, so nothing too major. Um, I'm still like, I'm having some bleeding in my discharge. But it's slight blood it's not nothing like you know but it's there so i don't know if i should call the hospital but i feel like shit so let's see let's see if my water breaks soon or something um my boyfriend was supposed to go to work but um i was just so uncomfortable last night that i told him like let's not have you go to work just in case because i wasn't sure if it was going to get any more intense um it was just really hard for me to fall asleep and my stomach was really hurting so yeah i just wanted to update you guys it is november 19th the boy is still not here it is friday so let's see um if anything changes i really want him to be here soon i'm really getting like aggravated because these pains are really they're constant so it's really like annoying you know and i just don't feel well at all let's see hopefully my water breaks soon because i want to get this thing out of me i want to see him yeah, it's just getting really uncomfortable, so let's see. I'll update you guys if anything happens. Okay, guys, a little update. Um, I was having contractions five minutes apart, and they're really nauseous. Um, they're going to check my urine, and then they're going to check me again, and then I'll already see if I'm dilated. I'm three centimeters. So let's see if this progresses. It's November 20th um, at like 5 a.m., so let's put yeah it's six now um i started having these pains at 4 13 a.m um so hopefully i progress quick i'm really thirsty um and these contractions hurt but not too bad my water still hasn't broken so yeah how are you feeling dad yeah so i'm gonna go because my stomach hurts so guys, just an update, um, 4 centimeters, been up since 4.13 a.m., only got two hours of rest, having contractions every three minutes I would say, but it's weird because I have them like three minutes apart, and then I'll have them like every, um, then they'll space out, so like every six minutes, so, so far it's very painful, this IV is the one thing that hurts the most. Um, as long as I breathe, like it's really not that bad. As long as I breathe, you know, water sudden break. So, yeah. If I reach five centimeters, then I will be induced, and we will start the in labor procedure. So, yeah. 
IV is one thing that really hurt because they kept doing it, but my vein kept blowing and I was crying really bad because it hurt so bad. <laughs> so, so really excited. Doctor thinks Baby Boy's gonna be here tonight. Uh, he moved. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to meet you. Um, yeah. So Babe left. He went to the house and he fed the cat before we left at five. Um, he already gave her some pebbles, um, so he went to give her a little bit of wet food, um, just because we do think the baby's gonna be here tonight, so, yeah, um, it's pretty boring, it's now one in the afternoon, and we've been here since six in the morning, and I've been up since four, um, and every time I try to rest, I just have really bad contractions, so, I'm going to... Like, I'm already losing rest, so that's fun. So, yeah, I'm really excited though. Um, just trying to stay positive. I will get through this. My body can do it. I believe in my body. You got this, girl. But, yeah, um, unfortunately, we aren't able to take videos when we give birth, which is really sucky. But I will insert some photos and I will let you guys know when I'm closer. And, yeah. It is November 20th. So, yeah. Hi. Hi, guys. So, shit's happening. Um, so, yeah, the anesthesiologist is on the way. I'm so excited. Really Sorry if I keep looking back there. My mirror is back there. So, yeah. Okay, so where I left off was I was six centimeters and <laughs> the nurse that came in. Okay, so basically, once I hit six centimeters, um, so I'm gonna put my hair up. So, once I hit six centimeters, um, what happened? I really am trying to remember. Hold on. So first off, guys, it's December 8th. Um, I gave birth on the 21st. And today was his due date, so that's cute. So, okay, so I think once I hit six centimeters, they were like, okay, first off, I went there, and because I was only 37 weeks, they didn't want to keep me in the hospital, so they were doing everything they could to stop the contractions, because they want the baby to stay in there a little longer, right? So that was pretty annoying, because I'm like, guys, I'm having contractions literally every three minutes, you guys are not sending me home. Um, and so I'm six centimeters and so they were just watching me and they kept giving me IV to try to stop the contractions but the contractions weren't stopping and I knew it was go time like you know they decided like hey you're in labor now so we're going to induce you so that's when they start to put toast in and they break your water if your water hasn't been broken yet my water did not break it had to be broken from the doctor so they said once i break your water the contractions are gonna get worse they're gonna you know probably triple so then they asked me do you want epidural by the time i hit six centimeters the contractions were really bad i was i couldn't so i said yes i ended up doing the epidural and so they broke my water and then they no they did the epidural first the epidural did not hurt at all like literally at all the damn IVs hurt more than the epidural. So they had me sit down and they had me like chin to chest. Uh, and then the anesthesiologist came with her cart and she came in the back and the nurse was in the front. She was talking to me. My boyfriend had went, where did he go? I think he went to feed the cat again. Um, and you know, we were asking the nurse like, should he go now? Because she, you know, she was so nice. By the way, her name is Lynn. Um, I love her she did so amazing with us especially as first time parents you know you want that good experience um so she said yeah go ahead and go feed the cat now because you kind of don't want to see this just because i guess the needle is big um, so nurse Lynn says yeah go ahead and go home just because i don't want you to see this because she might cry it might hurt which she wasn't sure how i was going to react yet so he goes home and so 
they sent me down or whatever and she says you have to be really still and i'm like freaking out because i'm like dude i'm having contractions like how is this gonna work but every time the contraction was over then they were like we're gonna do it now and whatever like they were it was really good what it felt like was somebody putting it just felt like a lot of pressure but a hammer like it just felt like pressure like somebody was like going like this like really hard and then um when she put the thing in it just felt like a shock like electrocution shock and i was like whoa like what the hell is that you know but the nurse um she was she was talking me through it she was like okay you're gonna feel like some very deep pressure and then you're gonna feel like a little electric shock really quick and it was really quick it really wasn't bad so after that was done um so yeah, they put a catheter um, around and they taped it over here. So that way um, I was able to get three doses. So that was the first one. It, it was called the walking epidural. It didn't numb me enough. It didn't numb me um, like as much as the regular epidural numbs. So I was still able to walk and use the bathroom and stuff. So um, that was the first dose. And they told me like it's going to wear off. And if the pain gets bad again, we can put another dose. And that's where they would put the other dose in that catheter. So I ended up using another dose. Um, I want to say, so I was six centimeters. Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, okay, so after they broke the water. No, so they did the epidural. Boyfriend's on his way back. Doctor's ready to break the water. Doctor comes in. Boyfriend's there. Um, and we, he's like position me to break my water so now he broke my water and it felt like i peed a whole gallon of water it was so weird um so then yeah my water was broken and yeah now it was just a waiting game now we were just they were going to check on how much how how many centimeters i was or whatever um because i was in active labor at this point so then Okay, so then I'm not liking how this eyebrow is coming out at all. To be honest, I usually don't do eyebrows, but for this video, I want to do eyebrows. <sighs> it looks so bad. <laughs> okay, so then... What was I talking about? Oh my god, I'm so horrible. Okay. Um, so then they put Pitocin. Pitocin speeds up your contractions. So it speeds up the process, makes you dilate faster. Um, so once you get Pitocin, game's on. Like, water's broken and Pitocin, honey, you're going to feel it. I didn't really feel anything. I just felt, like, a little bit of something. But it wasn't like, oh my god, like, you know. So <laughs> I'll get to the when I felt that, you know, oh my god pain. So now I feel like five minutes went by. And I started feeling like I was going to poop. A baby, like the baby was coming I felt like something was coming out of me and it felt like I don't want to say a lot of pressure because no it just felt like I was pooping a baby like I kept like I started like screaming to my boyfriend like babe babe get the nurse babe get the nurse babe I feel like he's coming I feel like he's coming so my boyfriend runs out and he comes back in and he doesn't have the nurse I'm like babe get the nurse and I'm like lifting my butt off of the uh, bed first off that bed was so uncomfortable I already spent a night there before you know so uncomfortable oh I hate the hospital bed it like hurts your back it's so weird it just sucks so he gets the nurse the nurse comes and she's like all right Ivy I gotta check you um that but the anesthesiologist is on her way right now I literally saw your contraction getting bad. Now it's going to come fast if you want your second dose yet. So, she she once she said she got to check me, I started, I was like, no, please, no, it hurts, it hurts. And she was like, no, I need have to check you. And I didn't want her to stick her hands in there. Like, it was already feeling like I was going to poop a baby. Like, the baby was already coming. Um, and so she checked and she was like, all right, you're nine centimeters. I was like, whoa, like I was just at six, calm down. It literally, like, it felt like it was three minutes later and I'm already at nine. Like, damn, like it was moving, like I wanted it to move fast, but I don't think I was mentally prepared for it to move that fast. So weird. Um, so then anesthesiologist comes in, gives me my second dose, boom, right? This eyebrow looks so horrible. 
oh well really me so she comes in and she gives a second dose and the whole time i'm like trying to breathe because it literally feels like the child is coming out of me like it feels so weird i don't like you've never felt this pain you know first time okay so anesthesiologist she comes in and she's like she literally hears me in pain and i'm like oh my god oh my god like it hurts it hurts it hurts i just literally kept saying that like it hurts it hurts i'm like moaning so loud literally like it was so bad and then she puts it in she's like honey it's gonna take a few minutes to um to like activate because with the first walking epidural it literally once she sh inserts it you're numb like within the next second it works but now she was like oh it's not gonna work that fast baby it's gonna take a couple minutes so i'm like oh my god i'm in so much pain first off okay the pain started coming because i know you guys are like why didn't you just like once you started feeling the pain why didn't you just get the nurse because i i didn't think it was gonna get more intense i don't know i just thought i don't i don't know i was just like trying to be all strong and like you know deal with the pain but then the pain was like really bad and then i waited a little too long and i was in a really bad pain so at least i could say like i felt you know birth pain i don't know so I had to wait for the epidural to kick in, which was annoying. Um, and then here comes a doctor. Okay, Ivy, I'm going to check you. Again, I don't want nobody's fingers or hands in there. It hurts. So he checks. He's like, okay, you're 10 centimeters. We're ready to push the baby. I kid you not. I was literally just six centimeters three minutes ago. What? Who's having a baby? Where? Like, whoa. It's, it literally happened so fast, guys. Um, so I'm like mentally trying to prepare myself. I'm looking at my boyfriend like, um, he just said we're having a baby. I'm like excited, but I'm nervous. I like, you know what? It's scary. So then they basically just started getting prepared. I really don't remember what they started getting prepared because I was so freaking nervous. And I was just trying to wrap my head around the fact that we were about to have a baby. And yeah, I had to push him out, you know? The nurse says, okay, we're going to do some practice pushes and whatever. And all the nurses are telling me how to push basically you're just taking a poop and so i was like okay i think i got that you know i'm just taking a poop no no biggie no biggie um and they were like okay you're such a great pusher i'm gonna call the doctor and we're really gonna start now i was like whoa like hold on why is it hard for people to push a poop out like why why isn't everybody a good pusher you know like i don't know it's just like really easy for me um and so then we start pushing and the doctor comes. So every time that I got to number 10, remember you count to 10 and then you gotta stop and you gotta breathe in and you gotta start pushing. So every time I got to like number nine, his head was about to come out, but then 10 came and I stopped pushing. So his head will go back in. So it was just like this. So the doctor was like, give me one really, really good push again. And if his head doesn't come out, do you want me to cut? At that point, I was just like, yes, yes, yes. Like, do what you gotta do to get him out. I want to see him, like, you know. I don't want to say that I was, you know, pushing for so long, but it felt like I was, like. So at that point, I'm just, like, just, you know, do what you gotta do to get him out because I'm pushing and pushing and pushing, and you guys keep saying that you see the head, and then, boom, it's, like, he sucks back in. So I was okay with him cutting. So I did have a episiotomy, which means he did cut. Um, he did cut me a little bit and I felt the incision by the way the epidural already kicked, uh, kicked in when I started pushing and the doctor knew like the moment because I guess I was more relaxed <laughs> but I wasn't like screaming while I was pushing I was just breathing I was just really breathing and it wasn't that bad like the ring of fire I had its moment where it felt like my private parts they couldn't stretch anymore like so it just was like burning um like a weird burn like i don't want to explain it um and then the doctor kept putting like i guess he was like trying to stretch more so he kept going like this and it was hurting because he was putting more pressure so while i'm pushing i'm like you're hurting me you're hurting me but of course he was ignoring me and doing his thing because if he stopped then the baby would have probably taken much longer than 30 minutes so yeah in total i pushed for 30 minutes um he cut i did one more push no i did two more pushes and on that last push i just felt i just felt like something came out of me and he was here and then he started crying and it was just so much fun i started crying my mother started crying it was such a beautiful thing such a beautiful thing like oh my goodness i can't stress 
can't stress that enough it's really just a beautiful thing like wow and then you know they put the baby on me but it took a little while because the doctor was cleaning him and stuff and then they put him on me it's a really beautiful thing so yeah so then he came out and my boyfriend was crying he was like you did it baby you did it it was such a beautiful experience i really like enjoyed it everybody was so nice like uh besides that damn iv situation like beautiful experience yeah and then he pulled up the placenta and they took the baby away they weighed him um they put on his bracelets that say he's my son and we have like this number and then they put like a little alarm on his ankle and stuff so the doctor is filling me up because i'm feeding him literally every two hours so a lot of people say like breastfeeding is so hard it's hard but it's not possible and that's the thing too, like just deal, like with everything that was going on, like all those pains that I had to encounter, you just really like push through it because you know that in the end it's going to be worth it. It's just so weird, like the love that you have for your child. It's just so weird. Like they always say like, you know, your life changes when you have a kid, but when it actually is, you know time for the kid it, like when he came it's just a love that i can't explain but i'm rambling so i'm gonna stop talking i'm going to just finish this makeup look so i just did my eyes off of the camera this is something very new for me so i'm hating it but for the sake of this video i'm not going to take it off i'm going to keep going <sighs> okay So this is the final makeup look. I think it looks horrible. Um, these this lash keeps lifting because again we put the face oil, so that's pretty annoying. I'm very like it has to be perfect or it's trash. It was me stepping out of my comfort zone doing this makeup. Look. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry it took so long. Um, it's just, you know, it's a little newborn and stuff. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And I know that you miss me, but you was And I know that you care, but you was lost. And I know that you think that you know me.